If you only have 24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use the 24. You gotta hear me, people talk about Oprah Winfrey. Uses her 24 hours wisely. That's it, listen to me, that's it, you get 24. I don't care if you broke, you grew up broke, I don't care if you grew up rich, I don't care if you're in college, you're not in college, you only get 24 hours, and I blew up literally. I went from being a high school dropout to selling 6,000 books in less than six months. What happened? My 24 hours. I was like, okay, Eric, you gotta get a grip on your 24 hours because you're about to be broke for the rest of your life. And this is all I need you to do for me. I can tell you all about your life if you just write down your 24 hour schedule for me and you let me look at it. I can tell you where you're gonna be in five years. I can tell you where you're gonna be in 10 years. I can tell you where you're gonna be in 20 years if you keep that schedule. I had a teacher in eighth grade. Eighth grade tell me I wasn't gonna make it in high school. Eighth grade, I had a teacher telling me that foolishness. And what did I do? I proved them right. I went to high school wilding out. Ninth grade year, wild out so bad, that school kicked me out. They was like, you know, we can't even take this no more. Kick you out, go to another school. I completely flunked that. Go to a third school and finally begin to get my act together. I proven everybody who did not believe in me right. And the few people who did believe in me, I proven them wrong. Again, we dealing with, it matters of the heart now. A lot of times we behave in the way we behave because we don't feel like we got worth or value. We don't really recognize the heritage of who we are and what we can do. So we just on that, I'm just gonna do whatever and get a couple laughs. But when you recognize how great you are, when you recognize that champion that's inside you, you'll say, you know what, I got more to give. There's more to life than this right here. I deserve better, you deserve better. And then you'll say, you know what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna prove everybody who didn't believe in me wrong. And the few people who do believe in me, I'm gonna prove them right. And when you do that, everything inside your life changes. I just start saying, before I make decisions, I just start saying, okay, is this gonna make my mama proud or all the people that's hating on me, is this gonna make them say, see, I told you. I'm in India speaking. I found out the culture in India, there in Bangalore where I was, has the highest suicide rate because if these kids do not do well in high school, they know they won't go to college and they know for the rest of their life they'll end up in poverty and they said, I'd rather die than be in poverty. That's what you call desperation. But you gonna settle for whatever the world gives you? You gonna settle for living how your mom and dad live now? I'm telling y'all, my young friends, you ain't gotta settle for that. Most people think that the people that are at a very high level in society are cut from a different cloth. They think that they're, they're, they're literally a different breed than them. And that, they're, and that they can't get those things. So that's kind of interesting, right? And uh, it's always kind of a shocker to, to have the, uh, the, the myth of that person burst. But see, here's the thing. Although we're not cut from a different cloth, the fact that I mastered consistency is the difference. And most people will never do that. No one wants you to succeed, right? Only your mom. And even your mom doesn't want you to succeed because she's afraid you're not gonna call her back. Your brain doesn't want you to be a big success. Your brain just wants to keep you alive. All your brain wants you to do is just pump out one or two kids so the DNA can continue on. That's it. Your brain will trick you. You are your own worst enemy. I know that if I fail to do that, that I am not instilling those habits that's going to have, that's going to have a big picture, long-term goal. Dudes, talent is overrated, homie. There's no price too great for me. There's, there's nothing too great. I would die for, for my dreams. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to risk it. Uh, there's, there's nothing too great. There's no amount that I'm, that I'm not willing to go. You can accomplish anything you want, man, if you're willing to do it.
right? But again, you'll realize that what you think you are is not what you are. You become something else. You, be you literally become something else. If you want to be someone who, who's tireless, you cannot be tired down, you, you'll become something else. So you don't have the, those limitations that a normal human being has. You don't have that. Because you, be you become something else. You become something that embodies certain things that, that you're trying to move forward. You'll go to any length. And you, so you're not going to get tired. Because, that, because dude, at that point, you have God on your side. That's not even you anymore, dude. Big. It's like, you know how? What I do is I focus on maybe one or two or three things at a time, and then I just do it. And then I get that done, and then I do the next thing. And then I get that done, and then I do the next thing. No one's gonna put you on. You, got, you have to put yourself on. No one's gonna put you on. So you, so you make that choice. You just do your small tasks and you do it. But see, no one wants to hear that. Success is about just quiet, little actions. Getting rid of anything that's unnecessary. Success is like a quiet daily set of tasks. Real small. Real, real small. It's very quiet. It's a, it's a, it's a very quiet process where you're just drawing your state from within yourself, doing these like simple little tasks, but finding love in those simple little tasks. It's not this big rah-rah speech where you do this one thing and something big happens. I'm tired, I don't wanna do it. And I got a million reasons not to do it. But what I do is I make the choice that I say, if I can't make myself go do this, how am I gonna live my dreams? I have found that if I miss one day, I'll miss every day. Thank you.